Hey guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as my custom house, House Sentinel. We're going to be playing as Lord Mark of Sentinel's Point. And, uh, well guys, I, um, I, I know that we have qu two crashes. We had two crashes so far. Um, but it actually doesn't bother me that much because now with the autosaves, the monthly autosaves enabled, it's actually not that bad. And due to the fact that, well, uh, Essos is not in the game, it's actually not that slow even with the autosave so I'm actually not too pissed off at these things now I might actually be pissed off if something very important happens during the month but you know uh, for now this hasn't happened so let's just hope it doesn't now I know that the last episode has been very short so we'll see maybe we're gonna make this one a little bit longer and wow people just keep dying I mean it, it's just so interesting there's so many things happening um Doran Martell and no longer has non-aggression pack so perhaps I don't know what they did but uh uh, Dennis Malister has now died as well. Wow, so many people died. Uh, we left off last episode with Olena Redwine dying. Um, so Edmure is now Lord of Rivan. Very good. And his heir is actually Rob Stark, the young wolf, who's married to Jane Westling. But they have not actually produced an heir just yet. Uh, but neither have I, by the way. So there's that. Um, okay, what happened to Marcella? Did she die or did Tristane die? I mean, that's the only thing I could, I could really think of. Um... That could be a problem. Tr Tristane? No, he's still he's they're just still before. Okay, I don't really know. I don't know what the what is causing this, but oh well. Um, look, Patrick of Seagat has found at least loyalist faction. You know what? This is something we might actually want to do as well. Um, actually, no, I don't really want to do that. No, I, I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's quickly check out how things are going here, though. You are still fighting against Brightwater, and you're still losing. Interesting. What about the Crow's Eye? He should be winning here. Yep, 87% in favor of him. So he's going to take over the uh, Iron Isles very soon. Uh, the Riverlands are still being punished. Uh, what about the Starks? The Starks are actually slowly pushing back the Ironborn here. But it won't really it won't really matter because, well, the uh, the Crown is winning against them. So that's that's a problem because they, have, they will have Stannis beaten very soon, I think. 73% in, in favor of King Joffrey. So there's that. Um, yeah. Well, uh, a murmur was heard through the room when I judged the felon to death. It was a, a just sentence, if perhaps a bit harsh. Well, I'm a just man. You can, you can say anything, but I'm a just man indeed. I'm a good military ruler, apparently. I like that. Um, we are charitable. Okay. Right, we got that through that event uh, with our wife wanting some stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we obviously can give out some titles. Now, obviously, um, I actually should mention here that I have recorded the introductory episode as well as up to this episode in one row. So I have not had a look at your guys' comments yet. So if you had some questions regarding Courteous or anything else, then I hope I have already answered this in the comments. If not, well, then, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, but also, obviously, I have not yet put in any of your suggestions if you have made some for these uh, courtiers here but yeah uh, as you can see wow the white walkers they surely have have taken over quite some wildling territory and now they're fighting the the blackfish this is so cool the blackfish is a black brother i, I don't know I, i'm actually really happy with with all of the things going on and joffrey is the uncaring this couldn't be any more true he's probably the one who does not help the what the knights watch uh, no one help, helps Night's Watch, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe Edmure Tully is going to send some forces? That could be possible. I mean, after all, he should he should kind of be... Uh, but yeah, if, if, the, if the Blackfish cannot beat back the White Walkers, then I don't think anyone can. But yeah, this definitely, this definitely is very interesting. I like this so much. Um, but yeah, let's uh, quickly continue here. Now, so far, our lands have been quite untouched. The Freys have finally decided that they're going to join the, the crown. I mean, that is not really surprising. Uh, and Cersei has declared a war on the Imp. Oh my god, why is this so good? I, is it just me? But I, I'm enjoying this so much, even though I have not done anything yet myself. This is supposed to be about my custom house, yet I'm enjoying the War of the Five Kings so much. Euron attacking Victarion while he's losing in the north. Cersei declaring war on, on the Imp for her claim on the rock. It makes so much sense. It just makes so much sense. I like this. Cool. Well, good luck, but you only have 5,000 men. I don't know if this is actually this is going to help out against Tyrion. Tyrion might actually be able to defend the rock. Yeah, he's, he's way more men. He does have ice. 
And he's actually married to Ella Tyrell. Very smart move. She's attractive. Wow. I mean, this is this is cool. Gal and Tarai, uh, uh, Tarai, Tyrell died in battle against Lady Elise of Holy Hall. What? She killed you. Okay. Interesting. And Patrick has inherited Gravesham. So house that house is just gone. That was a that was a um, a cannon house. If I remember correctly, uh, one of the local brothel keepers in Seagard has recently died, leaving his business available for purchase. Many of these brothels need renovating and improving, but acquiring these whorehouses could prove to be a profitable investment. Now, wow, that's actually pretty expensive, but we would make two point. We would actually make a lot of money. Wow, two point five monthly income, but we would lose piety. Okay, let me quickly think about this. Um, how much piety are we currently generating? We are content, so we would actually we are making. Okay, we would. We would be losing piety monthly, but we would make a lot of money. Hmm. I don't know if I would do that. I think I would. Even though we don't really have the money saved up right now, would I do that? Would I be a brothel? I think I would be. I think I... Although... I mean, it... it man, this is actually... Those are tough questions. Especially because it's my personal character. I gotta be careful what I say here. <laughs> but, um... I, yeah, I mean... Uh, well, this is actually a tough question. <laughs> uh, I think I would do that. I mean, it would pay off, right? So, I mean, it, okay. Here's the thing. Let me just make this clear. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want any of these women to be forced into prostitution. Let me just. Or, I mean, for that matter. It doesn't have to be just women, it can be men too, you know, but we won't have any child prostitution here, we will not have any sex slaves, and yeah, we will not have anyone forced here, as, as far as we can obviously tell, we will investigate this obviously. Um, so yeah, I, I think under these stand standards, I might actually invest in this, even though that's going to put us with a long period of actually being in debt, but you know what, I think I'm going to do that. Maybe I even want to take a loan for this, just so that we're not in debt that much. Ask the Iron Bank, we can take a $50 loan. You know what, I think I'm actually going to do that. We're going to take that loan from the, ba from the Iron Bank, and we're going to buy the, this brothel here. So just so that we're not too long into debt, because I don't want any rubber bands uh, to actually, you know, roam the streets. Because that would be, that would be quite, quite terrible. Uh, I don't want that. Um, but yeah, I think... I, I, I probably would if it's legal and you know under the restrictions that I've just mentioned. I think I would be a brothel owner. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, lack of funds is obviously pretty bad because um, uh, we we would fight very terrible at the moment. So yeah, we don't want to be uh, you know we don't want to lack funds for too long. That be that would be really bad. Okay, but uh, so yeah, how much money are we making? Okay, we're definitely oh significantly making significantly more money. And Stannis has now lost, and he's imprisoned, and he's usurped the title of Dragonstone. Uh, but more than that, I think. Actually, no, he's only taken Dragonstone. Interesting. He's not taken. He's only taken Dragonstone. He's not taken the Stormlands away from him. That's very interesting indeed. Hmm. All right. I suppose that does make sense. Okay, and. Uh, Brightwater has declared war on Lord Paramount. What? Oh, wow. So, their war ended because of Stannis. And now Stannis has... Oh, wow. Stannis has been executed. I guess that's not really surprising. And Joffrey has usurped the Stormlands. That does not surprise me at all. That does not surprise me. What I think sucks, though, is that this completely screwed over the Brightwater, uh, the, the Florence. Because they are now in a independence war against the crown, and they no longer have the support of their of their bannermen or of their their friends against the Tyrells. So yeah, this completely screwed them over right there. But well, I mean, I guess they 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 gambled and they lost. And wow, we're now at war with the phrase. The phrase have now. Oh, so yeah, because now that the crown is only at war 
with, well, a couple of people, but with the North. So, I'm at war now. Okay, we gotta be careful now, because uh, our lands so far have been untouched by the war, which is a good thing. But we don't know for, for how long it's gonna be. Um, and we're in debt, and we've already taken a loan, so... Things are not looking too good. I'm hoping that we're going to repay our debt very soon, but it does... We are definitely making a lot of money. I mean, yeah. We had 1.6 or something before that, and now we're making 3.6. Really good. Your reports from Sentinel's point that his charity... Okay, very good. Gain some piety. That's very important. We actually need that because we're losing piety now. And, um... Okay, the Peasant Revolt has ended. How many men does the North have, I wonder? Uh, can't be that much. A wealthy man from Pink Maiden by the name of Sir Louis Piper has arrived in Seaguard and is seeking entertainment at one of your brothels. He has very exotic tastes and promises to pay handsomely for your hospitality in satisfying them. Um, we could become close friends. Ooh, is he... Oh, he's the heir to Akon's Rich. You know what? This is actually pretty good. Welcome, my esteemed Riverman friend. So we actually gain gold and prestige for this. Very good. I like this. I like this a lot. And we're no longer lacking funds. You know what? I think this was a good idea. And now Lady Osha, the Skagossi, are declaring a war against... Ooh, Rob Stark. Oh my god, who else is in this? It's just it's just her, I see. Okay, so I think it was definitely a sound investment, this this brothel. Uh, it, definitely, it definitely helps us. I mean, I, I don't really care being a brothel keeper, personally. I, I wouldn't really mind. As long as I'm making good money, and of course, as long as all people are taken care of. Nice, very good, Sir Kenrick. You are definitely, uh, definitely doing a good job. Uh, I, I might actually raise you to nobility soon, but you know, you haven't actually done enough yet. You know what? I will do though. I'm gonna award you with an honorary title, just so that you are gonna be more happy. I will make you my master of horse. There you go. I hope you enjoy that. Um, and actually, my treasurer. I could make you... Hmm, I don't think I will do that. My wife, however, I think I want to make my wife my designated region. Simply because she uh, she's great. So yeah, there you go. Um, and we've had this before. Um, I would gain prestige for this. You know what? Yeah, we'll pay them. It's fine. We don't really have much entertainment here. Um, so I think that, that actually does make quite a lot of sense. I do want to establish my household guard as soon as I can. Uh, so yeah, the next 50 gold that we'll uh, save up, I'm going to build this. It will lessen our tax income, but it's going to give us some heavy... Well, again, heavy infantry is actually pretty bad for rivermen. Still, though, it, it, I think it's a good idea. And there goes uh, Rob Stark, losing his war as well, and probably his head. Yep, there he goes, executed as well, just like this guy. What about Catelyn? She might actually survive this. Oh, wow. Yep. I wonder what happens to the Tullys. Edmure is also imprisoned. And his heir is Lord Brandon of the North. Brendan... Oh, and br the Blackfish. Oh my god. This is not good. Crozai has taken the uh, title of Pike. Victarion is still the Lord of Saltcliffe. Okay, and Crozai is now ruling over Pike. So they're no longer at war with the North, I imagine. Yep, they are not. This is all the Iron Throne, that's why. And, yeah, the, how's the war going? Uh, the Lord Commander! Actually, the Night's Watch is holding back. The Night's Watch is holding back the, the White Walkers. The problem is, the Blackfish has been slain in personal combat. That's a big loss. That's a big loss for mankind. Yep. Oh, wow. This is going to be so interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, so, what's going on? I don't think there's anything really going on. Uh, Joffrey won. There's no more pretenders. There are no more pretenders left. Uh, the Ironborn, I guess, independent. And Cersei is fighting Tyrion, I, I, I believe. Actually, are you still fighting Tyrion? Oh yeah, you are. And the and Joffrey is Joffrey is siding with Tyrion against his mother. That is hilarious. But yeah, Tyrion is winning. Okay, and um, oh, it seems as though Jon Snow, new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Yep. I mean, he was not the actual successor of uh, Geo Mormont, but he uh, he did become uh, he did become the uh, Lord Commander eventually. Um, there was something that I've just missed. Lady Jane of Princess Pass has been so many things going on. Uh, yes, you are looting stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, we've we've done we've seen that. What about Asha actually? Or what about? Theon, by that, for that matter. Victarion's imprisoned. 
Um, D Arion was imprisoned. Rubber died in the dungeons. What? what what's going on? What the heck? So Robert, A uh, Robert Aaron died in the dungeons. So who's Lord of the Vale? Harold Aaron. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Wow. What the heck? And uh, Aaron Dampair has been released, I think. So Victorian still holds Saltcliff. What about Theon though? Uh, Theon is still alive. He's spy master. He okay, so he is with uh, he's with uh, Victorian. And what is where's Asha? She is uh, at court in Lonely Light. Oh, okay. She's married to Jürgen Farnwind. Farwind. Okay, very good. And Tyrion now died of... What the heck? Okay, but he actually managed to get a son with his Tyrell wife. And she's actually still pregnant. So, uh, yeah. He did not uh, inherit his genius. But neither his ugliness and dwarvish nature. So, I guess that's good. Holy balls. So many things going on. I'm definitely happy I picked this scenario. Yep. Still though, um, oh my god, yes, you declare all your wars, wow, we can never have any peace here. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, Sentinel's Point, yeah, I do want to upgrade this to the Peasants' Farms, let's actually see what they do, they just give us tax income and morale of armies, that's actually pretty, pretty powerful, wow, um, I wonder how high this actually gets, up to 10, wow, that's loads, and it's not even all that, that, uh, that expensive. Now I guess we could improve our peasants farm, but as I said, I think it would be much better if I would actually, uh, if I were actually to um, get a, a household guard now. I know we don't have the money just yet, but I feel like I definitely want to have a household guard. Your septon is uh, still making people like me, very good. Um, yes, establish a household guard as soon as I can. Actually, I should be able to do that now. Your treasurer comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment. All right, all right, sure. I'm all, I'm all up for that, Sir Hollis. Uh, let's organize an expedition. The time has come to purchase pack animals for our planned merchant expedition. Strong and sturdy beasts are available at the market. Okay, we're gonna purchase them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal them. I will purchase them. Um, yes, there we go. And the word has spread that you are planning a trading expedition. A group of septons have arrived at your court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you allow them to come along. Um, yeah, I will, I will, it will be an honor, I guess, to have you with me. Actually, you are my treasurer though, yeah, you're not the septon. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to postpone our uh, household guard for this trip. I hope this is also gonna bring some uh, huge income to our realm. Uh, yes, you have accepted that offer, very good. And on to foreign land, so we are gonna go and, uh, well, go on to an expedition, which is very nice. I guess which is fine, uh, I just hope that my wife will get pregnant again. She actually has Samuel Shed, her brother. Uh-huh, yeah, you are creating things, okay, whatever. Whew. What has reached you that you accept and Louis has given in to weakness and helped himself to the alms he was meant to distribute amongst the poor. Return the gold and all may be forgiven. You know what? Um. Uh, alright. You know what? I, I, will I will forgive you. I will forgive you for now. I'll forgive you for now. But if you do it again, if you do it again, you will be in the dungeons. Let's just say it like this. I'll give you a second chance. I do believe in second chances. Uh, that is true. Uh, the expedition finally reaches the realm of Lord Baylor Blacktide. Oh, a favor to seven Ironborn. Yep. The um, Okay, your treasurer asks you what gift we shall bring forth as token of friendship to Lord Baylor. Now, he's a knight. Now, usually Ironborn don't really have much, uh, much need for, for horses. But, you know what? I think... I'm actually going to give him the horses that we just bought. Yeah. I don't know why I have to pay money for this again, but uh, I guess we'll we'll, uh, we'll do that. Um, I have built peasants' farms, so I can use the money for peasants to, you know, establish a trade right here. I think since he's a knight and he's, uh, you know, believing the favor of the seven, he does have some use for uh, strong horses. And then you notice Luke Baylor Blacktide's face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward shoveling his food within, with his bare hands. Please excuse him, I'm trying to raise this street urchin to a civilized life. I'm hungry too. I'm disrespecting their culture. 
Um, you know what? Even though this, <sighs> I don't know. What would I do? What would I do? This is a. This guy is rude. Hmm. But he is my treasurer. Now here's the thing. Usually, I would I would side with my servants. I I, I am actually protective of my vassals. But this guy is clearly rude. He clearly is. He clearly does not. Uh, yeah, he. I, it might, okay, it only says he uses inappropriate language. It doesn't say anything about anything else. But I guess he doesn't really know how he behaves. Please excuse me. I'm trying to raise this street urchin. Ah, that's also pretty harsh. You know what? I don't want to be disrespectful, but I think I'm gonna have to support my my vassal here, because he he was the one who organized this whole thing in the first place. So I can't really be. I can't really be really mad at him. He, yeah, that that would be that would be pretty pretty shitty. Anyways, I, uh, you know what? Actually, no, we're gonna continue. We had a very short episode last time, so we'll actually make this one a little bit longer. You're walking idly around the court of Lord Bela when you suddenly hear discussion increasing intensity around the corner. Turning, uh, turning the corner, you are surprised to see one of the septons from the expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger whole adventure. Well, I don't really have much of a choice choice here, so yeah, there we go. And the revolt, that's fine. I don't really care about this. Um, as you spend time more and more as you spend more and more time discussing with Lord Baylor, you realize that you have a lot in common. Okay, so we actually become close friends. Well that is very good. That is very good indeed. We've made a friend. An ironborn. Well, okay. Uh, with the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit. Oh wow, look at that. We gain extra tax, stewardship. Vassal opinion and look at the money and prestige. Oh gosh, that's very good. So um, yeah, let's see. We can actually hold a tournament. Um, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna repay our loan. This is important. We're gonna establish a household guard. Right. Um, yes, loyal men. And I think I'm gonna hold a feast because I want to give. I want to give back. Although a summer fair. We're gonna hold a feast. Yes, this should make the peasants happy. And a feast I can't actually do. Not feasting, hunt or travel, or special activities. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make the peasants happy first. Because I spend the peasants' money to, you know, make a present to Lord Baylor Black Tide, who by the way is actually defending. Interesting. Okay. Um that's very good. So basically we've already spent all of our money again. Your treasurer has brought in riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition. Well, you weren't actually competent. I mean, I... I... Mm, I helped you out there, buddy. Um, but still, I guess I will reward him. I think I'll still reward him. I mean, after all, he it was his idea to set up this expedition. So I think he does deserve at least uh, nine, 9 gold coins. So that's fine. We'll give it to him. Um, but, but yeah, I don't think I'll award him with an honorary title. He's not proven that that useful. The Summer's Fair Archery Contest went very well. The cloud and the space uh, around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the bullseye. Some of them had missed the cloud altogether. The winner was a modest man who disappeared rather quickly after he collected his prize. That is suspicious. Okay, he was a good archer. Marshall Fine arrested that man. Good archer, that man. Approves of charity. Um... That is suspicious. So he was a good archer, a good poacher as well as I think. Uh, good archer, that man, I think. Yeah, that's that's probably all I'm going to say. Yeah, sure. I don't know why I lose money for that, but okay. <laughs> so there's that. I wonder if uh, I can hold a feast now. Because I want to make my lords happy as well, but I don't know if I actually have enough money for that. Wow, that really took away all of the money. The... the uh, Household guard. I guess you know what I need to do. Yeah, I need to set up a captain of the household guard. Okay, so this is the that that, that was the summer fair. Um, let's go ahead. And where do I? Oh yeah, minor titles. A captain of the household guard. Uh, Elwood. He's my courier, and Kaim. He's my commander. You know what? I'm gonna set up this guy. He's a knight. He's a bit selfish, but he's temperate. He's humble. And um, so yeah, we'll pick him. Four dual skill. He has way less. 
because he's a craven. All right, so Albert, you're gonna be my captain of the House of God, but this is one of the characters that I guy uh, that I think you guys can actually modify. So uh, once again, you can add two good traits and one bad trait to him. And I might actually raise him to nobility, but I won't do that just yet because I feel like there needs to be a reason for me to do this. But anyways, uh, I think uh, this uh, series, uh, this episode went on for long enough. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.